Hey everyone, C. Will Bowtie here with another episode of Trauma Team with special guests. Caleb. Caleb and Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's continue on with this investigation. Alright, so I think we're going to press Alright, let's go over yep. the information we've gathered. First, the white powder. Ooh. Yeah! Drugs. Powder toast. <laughs> yes. If the same powder from the floor was inside the hole, then... Um, yeah, that makes sense. It was the killer's secret escape route. That's right. <laughs> but there weren't Just enough for his head. Inside. That's all he needed to make sure it wasn't The layer of drugs had footprints from the firefighters, the police, and me left in. All of the footprints had something in common. They're big. They're Just like theirs. Fire. Indeed. There weren't <sighs> any footprints from before the time the fire began. So from this, we can deduce that the drugs must have been scattered on the floor when... Have you never talked to yourself before? Not and said indeed. I do that all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What'd you click? Concentrate. I said you're losing hearts. It's gone. What? There were no footprints in the drugs, so... I said it's after... No, don't do after the fire. It was just before the fire. Sorry. Yes. If I take this even further, I'd say that it would have been after Mr. Taylor stopped moving. In other words, it must have happened between his death and when the fire started. But why were there drugs on the floor? Someone's trying to take them. Someone dropped it. Yeah, I want to say the first time. Solid evidence. Hmm. Yes, they must have spilled out when someone removed the drugs from the hole in the wall. Dennis Taylor was killed, and someone walked out with the drugs. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of what happened here, but there's no proof just yet. I need to move on to the next step. Uh, Dr. Kimishima, have you confirmed that it's a murder after all? I don't know how you heard about that so quickly, little guy. Have I've you been, been eavesdropping on me? I'm in the walls right now. <laughs> Forget it. I can see right through you. Uh, oh, right. Uh, I have a new tool for you. Oh, yeah, tool? I don't have a crush on you at all. It's luminol. Do I need to explain it to you? The chemiluminescent material, based on reducing 5 nitrothal hydroxide with sodium dithionate. It reacts to iron and hemoglobin by glowing, making it useful to find otherwise hidden blood stains. Anything else? Um, no. Good. Now I just spray this onto suspicious in. areas, then shine the ALS on it. Right, I'm sure it will be useful. Thank you, little guy. Way to shave. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so we have two solid evidence. still have... Alright, let's exit and you go use that stuff to find more evidence. Because we need to go. I was telling Taylor earlier, I almost feel like this section of the game could almost be its own game. Oh yeah. Yeah, I could see this just being a detective's game or whatever. Alright, so spray on the floor. See. Wow! So there were blood stains here too. That seems like the rest of the blood that was needed. So that means he was moved. If these are from the deceased, we may be able to use this with something else that we know. Uh, is there anything over by the table? Yeah, anything like this right around the table. He may have tried to burn. Right. Now try the door or the bed Or the bed frame. Oh, that's it. Try more of the bed. Just for the heck of it. Alright. Go try to see on door here. See if there's anything around there. Ah. Huh. This there's a reaction to blood on this screw that's securing the doorknob. The screw seems rather loose as well. Think of it. The 
door to this room was chained shut when the fire started. That's a very Could small thing. related to that in some ways? That's very easy. I mean, yeah, I know there was an old lady that still... She has strength. Is it possible that the person took the screw out mm -hmm. and then screwed it back in by hand? Mm -hmm. Or used a screwdriver, just like the butterfly bruise, back into the handle. the ceiling like it's right oh, on the yeah. ceiling. The ceiling and the ceiling fan as well. Yeah. Oh. Ooh! Blood on the ceiling fan. This. With rope. Oh. There's a rope wrapped around the shaft of the ceiling fan. Now we're getting somewhere. There's no mistake. Those are blood stains. So weird. <gasps> he was hung. I got it. But that means there would be bruising around the neck when there. That's true. Also, the blood is on the other side of the room, not yeah. in the front there. Yep. Okay. Oh wait, no. It was um, on a timer, so it flipped the table with the fire to start the fire after the murderer was already gone. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't played this game in so long, I forgot how this goes. That makes so much sense. Because it would have been easily wrapped like around the top. I didn't mean to go there. Where'd you, you go? I went to the evidence room. Oh, check his neck. Oh, oh. There's not going to be anything on his neck. I think you're right with that. Because, I mean, timer, the table being flipped, and everything. Rope tied up around the thing. Can we um, put the rope in the... Dr. Kimishima, sorry for the wait. The analysis of the burnt material has come back from the laboratory. Calcium hydroxide was detected in the sample. Calcium hydroxide? You mean slaked lime? Yes. Small amounts of quicklime were also detected. Quicklime is a substance that releases a great deal of heat when it reacts with water. Oh, I see. Uh, so, yeah. so this was... A distraction. It starts fire. I agree, but isn't it odd? If the killer wanted to start a fire, there are far easier ways to go about it. Hmm, you're right. There must have been a reason for this. It's our job to investigate that, isn't Make it? Make sure there's no time for it to be gone. Yeah, because he, he definitely set the timer uh -huh. on the fan. So, um, ceiling fan and the table. Mysterious rope yep. and the ceiling fan. Yep, nope. Or that. Yes, the, the rope wrapped around the And then we can use the um, table. Yeah, and then attach it to the The question table. now is why the... Table, 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 table. Table, 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 table. Table, table, The fire began near the yeah. fan and calcium hydroxide was... <laughs> calcium hydroxide is formed through the reaction of quicklime and water. That reaction creates something else as well. Yes. Quicklime releases 65 kilojoules of energy per mole when it reacts with water. This was the method used to start the fire. First, you would place a glass of water on the table. You would also put quicklime around the floor and on the table near the glass. When the table falls over, the hydration heat caused by the reaction would but why would the killer go through such a complicated plan to start a fight? Yep. It's just how he rolls. He does it for If all he wanted was a fire, he could have you just know, said that's something. Actually the killer not a needed bad to have a delay until the fire began. That's why he devised a plan that made a use of two components. So like yeah. If, was, if this was cereal, like that could definitely be a signature. Yeah. Great job for paying attention. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this trick relied on the ceiling fan. That's why the you're killer wrapped now. one end of the rope around the fan and tied the other to a table. <laughs> when the fan activated according to its timer, the fan wound the rope up, flipping the table over and spilling the water onto the quick line. However, there's still no, one right. basic question left to be asked. Why did the killer have to set the room on fire in the first place? Why go through this extravagant setup to make it happen? The reason for that is... Uh, 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 oh, to be found, I would think. Well, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Due to the fact that there was nothing flammable added to the body itself, they would have the culprit been never intended on, for the corpse and the evidence to be destroyed in the fire. Instead, the killer what? wanted to cause a commotion that would draw attention to the corpse. Now then, why would that be? They care about it. Mm. To create an alibi? Yeah. 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 To destroy the ceiling. That's right. 
By delaying the start of the fire, away, the plan was to have enough time to create a viable alibi for when the fire began. Putting my bets it's on easy. the electrician. I mean, with this method of misdirection, the culprit could start a fire hours after having left the crime scene entirely. Yeah. This is the entire it truth the behind this mysterious Yes, yeah, that's what I'm for. But we gotta find more evidence to put that behind. All right. Um, keychain. Hmm, that's right. Now, which of these blood stains happened first? Ooh. It's obvious. The bigger is better. Alright, now we just have one more. That's true. Unless the corpse got up and walked over by itself. <laughs> it's most likely that the deceased died by the first seconds, blood stain and then was carried to the bed afterwards. That would explain why there was such a small amount of blood on the bed itself. And once again, another reason for his shirt to be changed, or it doesn't have blood on it from slashing, it was because it got changed. But who would have taken the shirt? <laughs> well, check the check, check the way to click the screw. Um, yeah, so give it to him. What's this? Think harder, little guy. How was the room when the firefighters arrived at the scene? The entrance was closed, but was it completely inaccessible? Um, well, I could only buy the chain. That's right. The chain on the door had been attached, but the door itself wasn't locked. Um, sorry, but the door only opens about 15 centimeters with the chain attached. I don't even think a small child can get through a space that small. <sighs> you're so imaginative. Flex your mind and think about it. Flex your mind. Listen to me. What I'm trying. Jump kicking. I just saw that. This loose screw tells us everything. Everything, yeah. even who it killed him. Right With the screw removed, the entire plate on the door can be swiveled around by the doorknob. The plate itself is about 20 centimeters long, so the gap increases to almost 35 centimeters. How big does somebody have to be that he couldn't fit through a space that size? Oh, I see now. That's more than enough room to get past the door. So the killer just screwed the plate back on from the outside after he left the room. I think that's the most likely explanation. But the killer was in plain sight once he was outside the door. He wanted to finish quickly. The killer could have completely tightened the screw and left the area as we found it. Well, that proves that this isn't quite the locked room mystery we thought it was. Hmm. Huh. Still, this doesn't help us figure out who the killer is. I love how professional I need to investigate he is the situation as well with his little me as his avatar. All right, hold on. Before we continue, we're going to end the end the episode here so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys in the next episode see ya bye, bye.